Buenos días, clase. Present tense of AR verbs. Estudiar is a verb. Verbs express actions or states of being. The infinitive is the base form of a verb. Estudiar and to study are infinitives. In English, the infinitive is preceded by the word to. To study. To eat. To write. In Spanish, the infinitive is a one-word form and can be recognized by its endings. A R E R and I R Estudiar Comer Escribir Today you will learn about A R verbs. Let's look once again at estudiar. To create regular verb forms in Spanish, you start with the infinitive. Drop the infinitive ending, in this case, ar, to get the verb stem. To the stem, you add the ar verb endings that correspond to the different subject pronouns. Now repeat after me the conjugated present tense forms of the verb estudiar. Yo estudio. Tú estudias. Usted, él, ella, estudia. Nosotros, nosotras, estudiamos. Vosotros, vosotras, estudiáis. Ustedes, ellos, ellas, estudian. Muy bien. You know now how to conjugate AR verbs. Here are some other common AR verbs. Bailar, contestar, desear, enseñar, hablar, terminar, trabajar, viajar. These are just a few, but there are many more. Now, let's talk about the present tense form. The Spanish present tense that you practice when you conjugated the verb estudiar expresses with just one word the three different ways English has to express the present tense. For example, Paco trabaja en la cafetería. In English, this sentence can mean Paco works in the cafeteria. Paco is working in the cafeteria. Paco does work in the cafeteria. In Spanish and English, the present tense is also used to express future action. El profesor viaja a Madrid mañana. The professor travels to Madrid tomorrow. The professor will travel to Madrid tomorrow. The professor is traveling to Madrid tomorrow. Remember that when two verbs appear together with no change of subject, the second verb is usually in the infinitive. El profesor desea viajar a Madrid mañana. Now let's look at how to form a negative sentence in Spanish. In the sentence, deseo hablar con Don Francisco, the word no is placed before the conjugated verb. No deseo hablar con Don Francisco. Here, the Spanish word no means not. Atención! The Spanish verbs buscar, escuchar, esperar, and mirar do not need to be followed by a preposition, as they do in English. Escucho la música. I listen to the music. Now look at the following dialogue. ¿Hablas japonés? No. 
No hablo japonés. Did you notice anything special about the subject pronouns? You may have realized that the Spanish sentences don't have any. In Spanish, the subject pronouns can usually be omitted since the subject is indicated by verb endings. Subject pronouns are used, however, for clarification. ¿Qué enseñan ellos? Ella enseña arte y él enseña física. They are also used for emphasis. ¿Quién desea terminar la clase? Yo deseo terminar la clase. To express your own likes and dislikes, use the expression me gusta plus singular noun or me gustan plus plural noun. Never use a subject pronoun such as yo with the same structure. To express what you like to do, use the expression me gusta plus infinitive. To use the verb gustar with reference to another person, use the expressions te gusta, te gustan, or a plus name pronoun le gusta, le gustan. To say that someone does not like something, insert the word no before the expression. To use the verb gustar with reference to more than one person, use nos gusta, nos gustan, or a plus name pronoun les gusta, les gustan. Hasta pronto.